Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. I'm Chris with the K. Check out my website. There's links in the description. Today we're going to be looking at chopping up videos. So, you know, these days when you take video with your phone or camera or whatever, it's digital. And each shot you get is a separate file, usually. I mean, on phones, usually you can pause and you can create one long video with different shots. But in general, when we get videos, we have little different scenes that we can then edit together, which is really nice. But it hasn't always been that way. I mean, if we go back a little bit, we had uh, digital DV tapes, you know, for your camcorder. And that was the first time where you really had a chance where you're recording to a tape, but it would mark timestamps. So when you copied to your computer, it would actually divide it up by scenes. But before that, when you just had you know, VHS tapes or, you know, uh, Hi8 tapes and you're recording with a video camera. It was all one file. You would copy it to your computer. You'd have to sit there. You'd play the video on the camera and record it to your computer and it would be one long file. And then if you wanted to chop up the scenes, you had to go back and manually cut them up. But we did have an option back then where some pieces of software would scan the file and look at each frame. And if one frame from to the next changed enough, it would go, okay, this is a scene point. It wasn't perfect, but it worked fairly well. As long as two scenes weren't very, very similar, like you're filming a large field of grass and then you move to another shot of a large field of grass, it may not notice a big enough difference to chop it. But most of the time, if you are going from one shot to another, the shots vary. Uh, another time that it might uh, affect it is if I was to quickly go like that with the camera, my hand, it might maybe see that as a new scene because the frame changed so much from one to another. But in general, it worked pretty well. And these days, you may have to do that. Maybe you didn't film the video. Maybe someone gave you an edited video and you want to chop up all the scenes or something along those lines. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with FFmpeg. Uh, it's fairly simple. In general, you just need two commands. You run one command that goes through and gives you a list of timestamps and information, and then you use that information to put it through another FFmpeg command to actually divide it up. I have a script. I'll show you the script. We'll quickly just go over. We're not going to go over it in detail, but I'll go over what's happening in general. And you can download the script. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Uh, but you run this, and it will chop up your longer video into individual scenes. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here's a video from about a year and a half ago, Halloween, and my kids carving pumpkins. And if we go a little ahead in the video, you'll see us trick-or-treating in Street Fighter costumes because we're awesome like that. Uh, and also, I'm recording the video playing on my screen, so if the frame rate looks low, it's because I'm recording the video, not because the actual video looks like that. Uh, but yeah, so every time the camera cuts from one shot to another, we want to split that into separate files. So let's go ahead and look at doing that. So I'm in a directory here. I have the video file we were just watching and we have our script. Let's go ahead and look at our script. So it's a bash script. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the first argument. The first argument will be the file name. There's probably better ways to do this, but we're just looking at the first argument. We're setting that to the file. And then I'm doing some things to divide it up to get the directory we're in, the name of the file without the extension, get the extension. That way we can uh, name the output accordingly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use ffmpeg and give it that file we passed it. And basically what this command is doing is it's looking through and it's getting information on those changes from one scene to another. Now that will give you some output that I want to put into a file called ffout. That's just what I'm calling it. Uh, but it can take a little process. I didn't want to see all the ffmpeg output for this part. I just want to see it processing, but I need to save all to a file. So what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, don't show any of the ffmpeg output here, but pipe it into T. T will allow me to, to uh, save to a file and go to the, right to the screen as well. So we're writing that information to a file, but then I'm doing a while loop. And for each line in the output of FFmpeg, I'm echoing the a dot. So that's just going to give us a little progress. I just did that because I like the way it looks. You didn't need, you don't need all of this. You could just dump the output of the FFmpeg command into FFout. I just thought it would look nice. Uh, then we're just creating a new line here. Now I'm creating an array of timestamps. I want the first timestamp to be zero because that's the beginning of the video. Then we're going to get the timestamps. We're going to grep from that file we created, the FF out, into show info. Or we're not into show info. We're looking for lines to say show info. And then we're grepping for timestamps. And then we're, this is just grabbing different timestamps and we're going to add them to our array. So each time for, for each of those, we're adding to the array. And now we're going to take those timestamps and we're going to run FF Probe, which is from the FFmpeg project. But that's going to give us some information and we're putting that into our FF timestamp array. 
Again, we don't need to go into details here, just know that it works. Then we're gonna go through our array of timestamps here. And we're gonna print some output here. And then by default here, I'm just going to echo out a list of FFmpeg commands instead of running them, but we will run them in a moment. So let me go ahead and do this. What I'm gonna do is uh, I, I've already made that file executable. I'm going to run it. I'm going to pass it our video file. We're gonna give it a moment. See, it's doing the little dots that I designed. So it just gives you a little progress there. Shouldn't take too long. The video is probably about two minutes long. There we go. Now, if I was to shrink this down, you can see we just have a list of FFmpeg commands. It's saying FFmpeg start at this number of seconds and cut to this number of seconds. Our input file is this and our output file will be the same thing with a dash and a number depending on what, what scene it is. So that's the output. You could copy this and paste it back into the shell to actually start dividing up. But if we go back into our script, let me go into it with Vim. Instead of echoing it out, I can just remove the echo and we'll actually run those FFmpeg commands. Now, let me open up my file manager here. So we're in the same directory. Again, we have that output uh, file that we created the first time we ran it. I can cap that out if you want. That's what it looks like. That's the information. And then we just used grep to cut through this and get the information we needed. Again, you don't need to know that. Again, this script is in the link in the description of this video. But all I have to do is run our script and give it our video file. And once I run that, you'll see in our shell, once it finishes this first little processing section, we'll start getting little scenes divided up into separate files. There we go. So we've got one file that once one there. Now we got two, three. And so each one of these is an individual clip. So if I was to click on one and play it, you'll see it's just a few seconds and then it cuts to the next one. So that's it. Uh, I went over the basic idea of how it works, but all you really need to do is grab that script from the link in the description and you can run it on videos like I did and you'll just get an output of individual clips. Um, you can look at it more. Again, by default, I just have it to print all of the FFmpeg commands. You can just re remove that little echo uh, option of it, or you can just copy and paste. Because I did that because maybe you don't want to do the whole video. You just want a section of it. You can just copy and paste the ones you want. Modify it how you want. It's free. It's open source. And I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to all the good stuff. Think about supporting me if you can. Links to that. Like, share, subscribe, comment. And I hope that you have a great day.